Hi there, folk. Welcome back. So far, we've been looking at different scales, and we've come across things called a number scale and a bar scale. And we've taken those scales, and with those scales, we have been able to work out different measurements, both on the map as well as in real life. For example, how far is the distance from Durban to Johannesburg? We were able to, with the use of a map and a scale, be able to calculate that distance. All right. If we wanted to as well, say if a distance is 10 centimeters on the map, what's it in real life? What is the distance on the map if the distance in real life is 300 kilometers? Now, what we're going to do in this segment is this. Thus far, we've been given maps with a scale. In this session, we'll be given real life measurement with a scale and be asked to draw a map or a plan of that picture. Okay, what do we mean by that? So the bedroom in the picture is 3,5 meters by 4 meters. It has a standard size single bed of 92 centimeters and 188 centimeters. The bedside table is 400 millimeters square. Draw a floor plan to show the layout of the room. And we're going to use a scale of 1 is to 50. All right, so here is our bedroom. And I'm going to do it just very roughly just so that we've got an idea. So I've got my bedroom and uh, let's just draw it. Here's my bedroom. Cool. It's a nice little rectangular bedroom. And we told that it's three and a half meters by four. So that's four meters and this is three comma five meters. It has a standard size bed, a uh, single bed, 92 centimeters by 188 centimeters. Okay, so this is in meters, this is in meters, and we've got a little bed. And we're going to say, right, let's put the bed there. It doesn't say where it exactly wants the bed, but we're just checking out the measurements. So my bed is 92 centimeters and 188 centimeters. There's a bedside table, and normally a bedside table does just that. It goes beside the bed. And we're told that that bedside table is 400 millimeters um wide okay and it's a square so we know we're going to get 400 and 400. now we're going to draw the plan but we're drawing the plan in a scale of 1 is to 50. so folk what we've actually got to do now is we have got to say right we're going to draw this to scale but in drawing it to scale i've got to know all those measurements so in knowing those measurements let's go here we're going to say our scale and our scale is going to be real life or map to real life. Okay. And we've got a scale of 1 is to 50. Well, let's change a few of these measurements. All right. First measurement is 4 meters. Now, folk, I'm going to be drawing this uh, map uh, or on this uh, board in front of me and I'm going to be using a ruler now my ruler is in centimeters hopefully I'm not going to get an answer in meters because a meter is this long and the table is this long it means I'm going to go straight off this table and be writing on the wall next to me and that could be problematic so let's change that meters into centimeters so I'm going to say this right I have got in real life four meters long so four meters i'm going to change that to centimeters we know there's a hundred centimeters in a meter so i'm going to go 400 okay um and we want to know what's it on the map so first of all we find one remember we're very simple minded well i am and i like to work with the number one how did I get 50 to become 1? I divide it by 50, and I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. I change 1 to 400 by multiplying it by 400, so I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. So when I do that on my calculator, I'm going to say, right, 1 divided by 50, multiply that by 400, and I get an answer of 8 centimeters. So now when I draw my room, I'm going to say, cool, my room, I'm actually going to draw this as 8 centimeters. Now, my next one was 
3,5 meters. So we're going to do the exact same thing again and because of that and because I don't want to run out of a lot of room I'm just going to use a little rubber here and get rid of all the stuff okay and so that we can then do the whole thing in the same space. So I've got a map to real life of 1 is to 50. I want to change that. I've got 3,5 meters, which is 350 centimeters. Okay, 50, first I want to change it to 1. How did I get 50 to 1? I divide it by 50. So I'm going to do the same this side. I've got that number divided by 50. How do I get it to 350? times by 350 and I'm going to multiply that by 350. Again, my calculator is going to do all this work for me. I'm going to say, right, I've got 1 divided by 50 multiplied by 350 and I've got 7 centimeters. So I'm going to draw this 7 centimeters wide. Cool. All right, things are going well. Now, let's have a look here. I'm going to do all this again. But what we're now going to say is this. We're going to look at our bed and we're going to say our bed was 188 centimeters. So I now want 188 centimeters in real life. Before I get 188, let's find 1. How did I find 1? I divided by 50. I'm going to do the same thing this side. How do I get the 1 to 188? I multiply by 188. I'm going to do the same thing this side. Okay? And it's in centimeters already. So let's go for it. So we say 1 divided by 50. And then we're going to multiply that by 188. And I land up with an answer of... 3,76 centimeters. 3,76 centimeters. So my bed okay, is going to be 3,76 centimeters. Now, the width, again, we're going to do the exact same thing. Let's get rid of all this. And we said the width of the bed was 92 centimeters. Okay, 92 centimeters, let's confirm that, yes it is. So 92 centimeters means in real life, I want 92 centimeters. Before I find 92, let's find 1. How did I get that 50 to become 1? I divided by 50 and so I'm going to do the same this side. 1 divided by 50. How do I get the 1 to become 92? Times it by 92 and I do the exact same thing that side. Out comes the calculator because I'm not going to think. I say 1 divided by 50, multiply that now by 92, and I get my answer of 1,84. 1, 1,84 centimeters. So this is 1,84 centimeters. Then I have my little side table. It's a little square. Let's just do this quickly. A little square, and we told that each side is 40, um, 400 millimeters, okay? Remember, 400 millimeters. So I'm now going to change all this again and say, right, let's get rid of all this here. And we don't want 50, we now want 400 millimeters. Now, folk, we're dealing in centimeters, so let's change that 400 millimeters into centimeters. 400 millimeters, divide by 10, 40 centimeters. So I want 40 centimeters. But before I find 40, I got to find 1. How did I get 50 to become 1? We divided it by 50. How do I get 1 to become 40? We times that by 40. So my calculator is going to do that for me. And we're going to say, right, Mr. Calculator, we have got 1. Divide it by 50, multiplying it by 40, and I get an answer of 0, 0,8. So my little side table is going to be 0, 0,8 centimeters. Now, when I draw this, guys, I am going to use these measurements to draw my actual diagram. Okay, I would draw the length of my room to be 8 centimeters, the width 7. 
My bed is going to have a width of 1,84 centimeters and a length of 3,76 centimeters. And my little table is going to be 0 0,8 by 0 0,8. All right, and that's how I would do it. I'm not going to do it because it's difficult to do it on the board with the ruler. Um, you could easily draw that. You know how to draw a line of eight centimeters and seven centimeters. Of course you do. It's really straightforward. Do you understand how we've done all this? A lot of work has gone into this question. Would I get a question like this in an exam? I can't see the examiner asking me all this because then he's testing the same thing over and over. But there's nothing to stop him from saying how long would you draw the wall if you had to redraw this. So he might ask you for one of the sides to be drawn to scale. Okay. Your school, um, right, your school is building a new classroom. The measurements of the classroom are as follows. The length of each wall is 5 meters. The width of the door is 810 millimeters. The width of the windows are 1,000 millimeters. Use appropriate symbols to draw a plan of the classroom using a scale of 1 is to 50. Okay, so we're going to draw this. Let's just draw it in rough first. I've got a building here. It's going to be a square classroom because the length of each wall is five meters. So we've got a wall of five meters and a wall of five meters. We told the width of the door is 810 millimeters. So I have a door here and the width of that is 810 millimeters millimeters. We also have a window. They're not telling us where the window is. I'm going to put the window this side. Why? Because I want to. And that window is a thousand millimeters. It now says use the appropriate symbols to draw a plan of the classroom using a scale of 1 is to 50. Guys, we've just done a whole example looking at the bedroom. Okay, so I'm not going to do all this again. I'm just going to draw or show you the, how to calculate the length of one of the walls. Again, we are going to say we're dealing with scale, so we always write map real life. And we're told we've got a scale of 1 is to 50. 5 meters. I'm going to change it all to centimeters because when I draw it, I'm going to use a centimeter. I'm not going to use meters. Okay, so 5 meters is actually 500 centimeters. But before I calculate 500 centimeters, let's calculate 1 centimeter. How do I get the 50 to become 1? I divide by 50 and again, I'm going to do the exact same thing this side. How do I make the 1 into 500? We multiply by 500. And again, folk, I'm going to do the exact same thing that side. So I have 1 divided by 50, multiply by 500, and I get an answer of 10 centimeters. So I would draw that line 10 centimeters long. Okay. All right. I trust you um, have... Learn something in this lesson. There is another type of sum we could give you where we say let one centimeter represent one meter and draw this rectangle to scale. In other words, if that is eight meters, I'm going to draw this eight centimeters. If that's one and a half meter, I'm going to draw this one and a half centimeters. So I'm just going to get my ruler, measure eight centimeters, measure one and a half, measure eight, measure one and a half, and draw that really straightforward. Finally then, not last example, measure the following drawing and then redraw it using a scale of 1 is to 2,5. In other words, I'm going to measure from this line to this line and let me do it quickly. Ruler out, glasses out, let's measure. I'm going to measure it and I actually land up then with a measurement of around about 20 centimeters. So I'm going to say, right, that's 20 centimeters. I've got to redraw it and I've got to redraw it using a scale of 2.1 is to 2.5. In other words, I'm taking that and I'm multiplying it by 2.5 and I'm going to draw this 50 centimeters long. And so I'll draw a full line of 50 centimeters. Yeah, we've done a lot of work today, hey? Haven't we just? So what have we done in this segment? In this segment, we've covered the following. We've used scales to make a scale diagram of various shapes 
and rooms. Guys, that's it from me for today. Trust you learned something. Remember, practice, practice, practice. And I'm sure our paths will cross again on TV soon. Cheers.